Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is day 30th of, of the Leak Go Day Challenge. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about today's poem, 87, Scramble String. Uh, yeah, <clears throat> I did a workout today, so I'm very tired. I did a lot of squats. I am tired. So we'll see what, what happens. I hope everyone's doing all right. Uh, yeah. Okay, 87, scramble string. We can scramble string S to get a string T using the follow algorithm. If the length of string, if, if the length of the string is one, we stop. If it's greater than one, then do the following. Just put in a string to two, now an empty string at a random index. If the string is S, divide it by it into X and Y. Okay, and then randomly swap to X and Y. Okay, apply one recursively. Okay, hmm. Huh. What does this mean? This means that, let me take a look at N first. N is dirty, makes it easy, actually. I, I thought that, that there may be some, like, divide and conquer E things. But, yeah, dirty means that you can brute force the answer, really. Um, <clears throat> uh, well, not, maybe not brute force, sorry. But you can definitely do memorization, right? Because... Uh, there's only going to be dirty square or dirty choose two, uh, number of, of uh, or dirty one choose two maybe, but, uh, number of subways. Um, so, so like if you do a bounding by like okay, if, is is it possible? Then it makes it very easy actually. <clears throat> yeah, let's do that then, right? I, mean, I don't think there's anything that weird about it, and they're both the same length, right? So n is your length of string one, and basically what I'm doing is just brute force, really, but with memorization, with dynamic programming. Which now that I think about it, it makes sense because that's all we've been doing all week. But uh, but yeah, but basically now we say, um, what's it? Is can can scramble maybe? Can scramble? Uh, we have a left and a right uh, just to kind of annotate this. Uh, it's inclusive bounds, right? So it includes left uh, and right, right? And that means that if left is equal to right, then that means that we have one element. And we have one element, then if S, or we just return, if S1 of left is equal to S2 of left. Um, we probably want to do, there is some pre-processing that you can do, I think, but maybe as a first try, I'm not going to do it. What I mean by that is, for example, um, you know, like, you're not going to just take a look at the first letter because A and C, obviously, you can't, you're not going to divide their, you know, that part, right? So, yeah. Maybe, maybe I, mis I misunderstood this a little bit. Uh, let's see. So we're taking S2, is it? S2 is a scramble string. So mm, maybe what I said isn't quite true. Maybe I'm doing this a little bit wrong. Let me think about this for a second. Uh, I mean, it's, I think the, the the difference is just going to be in a little bit of a nuance. But let me think if I needed to create more bounds, right? Uh, let me think about what this means. Maybe I kind of rushed it a little bit. Um, but I think it's still going to be the same structure unless I'm like really, um, which is possible, I guess. Um, okay, so that means that we cut it in the middle and then we. S oh, wait, we're trying to cut S1 into S2. Does it matter? Mm, I guess I think it should be symmetric, but maybe I don't know that for sure. Mm. Mm. Yes, yeah, right, give me a second. I'm, I'm, I'm thinking. I don't know. I'm, maybe I'm just very tired today, or not thinking. I'm trying to figure out the swap thing and what what it means. What does it mean? Randomly decide to swap. What is this? 
Oh, uh, this is the scramble. So if you're gonna reconstruct it, um, maybe it's not even a reconstruction. Actually, maybe I misunderstood this. I thought it was just like reversing this, which maybe still is true, but I don't know. <clears throat> well, the thing is that now, so we cut it off here, say. So if we have two characters, it's going to be good. So this isn't even right. That's why I'm like trying to think. This is such an awkward problem. But I mean, I, I think I get it. I think it's still the way I wrote it, but a little bit different. Mm, is that true? No, let me think about this. Yeah, I'm struggling a little bit with this, but the end is zero to zero means that we can do end to the fourth. Um, I'm just kind of. I, I think I'm just trying to make uh, make sure that we only need this because I think that was my first inclination, but I I, I worried a little bit because thirty to the fourth is eight hundred thousand, which is I guess okay, but. Uh. Is that good enough? I'm, I'm still, I think I'm still struggling to understand the problem, to be honest, but um, I mean, we're going to keep them the same size. So then now we divide, say, right? Yep. Uh, and they'll be the same size anyway, right? Is that sufficient? Is this this plus one? Yeah, maybe this is plus one. And then now left is you go to So you have left one plus I right Well now your 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 halves are this. Your left half is this. And is, is that right? Um, basically, I is the I plus one is the length of the left thing. So it's either this, um, or um, Something like this, maybe. Also, this is off by one, I think. Because this is inclusive. I don't know if this is, I mean, it may be off by one, but I think that's the idea. I don't know if this is right, so I'm going to um, skip the explanation for a little bit. Sorry, friends. I, mean, I think the idea is right, but may uh, well, maybe not. Uh, well, I could just have an off by one, really. Uh, 
Let me see. Did I mess up something? So this is going to be. Duh, 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 duh. But if this is zero, then this should be go, right? Hmm. Did I do the recursive one? Mm, it's possible. Let, let, me, let me do it one step at a time. This one I'm more confident about than this one, but it's still wrong. Just that I'm more confident about it, or have slightly more confidence about it. Um, let me also assert that this is true. Just in case I did something like off, like with this overbalance or something. Okay, so that's not the case. Hmm. What am I doing? So this is zero? If this is zero, this goes up by one, right? So why is this? Is this off by one? No, because if this is off by... So I can be... Right one. If this is right one. Is this off by one? I don't know. Let's see. Oh, well, I guess I was. Hmm. Let me get, give us a minute. Uh, oh no. Yeah, that's a lot of cases, but I have not I think I have. I think that's why I needed the the whatever, but. Did I misunderstood this? Hmm. How is this possible? Maybe I misunderstood this though. Like, cause I thought that you have to partition it, right? Like here, can it be possible? Like if we chop A, B, oh, and then it's C plus A, B. And then you do the, and then AB, you do recursion and the reverse. Okay. What am I missing then? I just not do all the examples. I, I didn't know if this was exhaustive enough, to be honest. Um, I guess maybe not. I, I thought that there's some symmetry argument. Because um, now you can say maybe there is, uh, you know, same idea. But write one minus I, right? Uh, write one, right? And then here, um, oh wait, this is definitely wrong in any case. There should be a two. Mm, that, does that fix it? Oh, I didn't, was it A, B, A, B, C, C, B, A? Okay, so I just had a typo maybe. I thought that there was symmetry would take care of it, but I mean, you know, when you have a typo. Okay, so, okay, okay. Sorry, I didn't do enough explaining about this one because I think this one is hard. Um, okay, that's the same thing, I guess. But, and I, I was focused on getting it right, so sorry if today's, and maybe part of it is that I'm tired, not gonna lie. Um, that was kind of tiring, but uh, okay. Now that I got it uh, and fixed the one typo, how, what did I do last time to get it wrong? That also have a typo. Hmm. Doesn't they don't tell you what your wrong answers are anymore? I feel like it used to, right? Or did I? Am I wrong about that? Hmm. No, that's not it. Uh, yeah, I don't know. But but the idea is the same, except for my code is a little bit shorter this time. Oh, I did do that. Thing. I was thinking about doing this, but uh, but yeah. But basically, man, this is hard. <clears throat> but basically, this is just brute force. I mean, it is what I said. It is brute force, and that it tries to do everything right. Um, what is, I'm just checking the running time. I guess this is pretty okay. I probably could have optimized this, but um, but yeah. But this is the length of the i plus one is the length of the left half uh, and then basically the idea is just brute force 
in that okay this is if we don't scramble right um basically you if if you take this length and then put it on the left and then we compare can we if we divide it at this i divider um then we, we have to check if the left half can scramble and then the right half can scramble and this is assuming that we don't uh swap right um because then the if we don't swap, then the left half is going to match up with the left half of the, the second string. Um, if we do swap, then the left half is going to match up with the right half of the first string, right? So kind of give you a visualization is that if you have A, B, C, D, E, and you have two A, B, C, D, E's, right? it doesn't really matter, right? Um, if we divide it here, then the fir this first code is it's just saying, okay, you know, uh, let's divide it this way on the on the second side, right? And then this the this part is just saying, okay, let's. You know, we still divide it on the left on this side because of symmetry reason it doesn't matter, um, but on the on the other string we're gonna divide it on the right. Um, and the way that this kind, I mean, it's not quite doing this divide, um, or there is an implicit step which is that once we kind of made the this made uh once we make this di division we move this to the front so that the cde now matches abc right and then see if this can match um that's basically the idea behind this one uh and then of course you kind of have to you know adjust for the other one and because of symmetry you don't have to, that, that those are all the cases that's what i thought but then i had a type one i got confused and i was like huh did i miss a case or something but uh which sometimes happens i mean sometimes symmetry is not enough but but for this one i you know, I thought it was, and and it, it was, uh, yeah. Uh, that's all I have for this one. Let me know what you think. Uh, I always had a huge dinner, by the way, because oh, fasting for so. I was. I have a very good appetite. We'll see how how. Uh, how much weight I'm gaining, but yeah. Uh, oh, excuse me. But that's all I have for this one. Let me know what you think. Have a great rest of the week. Stay good. Stay healthy. To good mental health. I'll see y'all later and take care. Bye-bye.